The management would like to apologize for two rather glaring errors in this installment of AWAC and Gamma Dev's Let's Play Video Blogcast thing. The first concerns the production company which produced Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, and which AWAC inexplicably, repeatedly, and incorrectly refers to as JP Productions. Starcade was in fact produced by JM Production Company, so named for its two principals, James Caruso and Mavis Arthur, who graciously granted permission to use their episodes in our June 11th, 2014 videocast. The second concerns AWAX neglecting to check whether he had management's frightfully expensive side address microphone facing the right way round, discovered far too late that he hadn't, the effect of which makes him sound like he's speaking from the inside of a coffee can located on the far side of the room. Management have attempted to correct this error in post-production with modest success. Appropriate disciplinary action has been taken and AWAC has furnished assurances that these lapses will not recur. We hope these issues do not detract from your enjoyment of this, our latest installment. Thank you. And now... Hello again, everyone. Uh, I'm AWAC. I'm Gamma Dev. And welcome back to our Let's Play video blogcast thing. And it has been a while. I always, This is all on me. I always seem to get desynchronized around the holidays. Uh, and it, somehow it seems to take me months to, to get back into things. Uh, and... I think we have a lot to talk about. Okay. Uh, this, yeah. Um, and, and, and it's just all falling straight out of my head. So uh, the game that uh, we've selected today is Lucian's Quest, but it's probably going to be amusing to see if either of us can figure it out without the manual. Well, yeah, this is... I, I've played this. I've played this through to the end. Uh -huh. it's, not, it's not the longest RPG in the world. So we will see what happens. Mm -hmm. But yes, this is a... Uh, I remember coming with a nice big thick manual, so... <laughs> thick enough to beat goats to death with. I hope it's, I hope it's a lot mostly backstory, because uh, uh. Yes, if this requires instructions... You know, this is the other CD-ROM, it, it should require instructions. I can understand if this were a cartridge or something. Yes. <laughs> yes. But, uh, yeah. It used to be a Japanese game, one of the few Japanese RPGs that got ported over to the uh, 3DO mm. to the US. Oh, oh, they, they got a, an English translation. Yes. Because there were a lot of Japanese RPGs exclusively for Japan. Yes. I, mean, I can think of this, I can think of, like, Guardi uh, Guardian War was another one. Uh -huh. um, also published by Panasonic. Um, what was it, Guardian War? Then there was, like, it was like a Pyramid one. I can't remember what it is. Not Pyramid Patrol, but... Not Pyramid Intruder, either. Which is the, which is the same thing. Um, pyramid... Ah, uh, what is it? Now I'm blanking out of such a letters. I used to know all this. I used to remember all this. But now. Our obligatory FMV intro. Yeah. With our, you know, mid 90s CG technology that we had at the time. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know. They were able to do um, Babylon 5, so I don't know what their excuse was. But anyway. Uh, so, one, so, one of the things that. Um, that that happens. Actually, I haven't told you about this yet. Um, oh. So when we so we, we did so the last one we did was D, which was uh, shortly before Thanksgiving. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and when I posted it, when I initially posted it, it got flagged. It got flagged by YouTube's Content ID Automatic um, Safety Bot. Which okay. I'm not sure how they like to think of it. Um, and well, it's a Content ID versus like the copyright takedown notice. That's correct. Okay. So. Because I have a, remind me, I plan to follow uh, up on that. Um, <laughs> so, so we're just going to let we're going to let the game play for its play itself for the moment. So I said, "What the heck?" And it was the flag was from Fuji TV in Japan, and I went, "What?" And the, and oh, the, you did tell me. I think you did tell me. About and there was this, something yeah. from it was all was in kanji, and so I like ran it through uh, Google Translate, and it was from a television show that broadcast in Japan. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it. I'll, I'll put it in the comments. I'll put it in the description. Um, and what it was is basically this guy who would play video games on the air, and do, and there was a there was a framing device that was kind of silly. And one of the episodes he did D. Right. And so. Our game footage collided with his game footage, hmm. and I went, "Great! How am I going to get around this?" And so I sent you a link on how to get around this. I believe. Yes, I believe you did. <laughs> yeah. um, and it's not a huge. So a, few, a few people did, and um, 
So I basically went through uh, YouTube's, uh, you know, I guess you might say response process right. for this sort of thing, and a lot of it is basically a trap. A lot of it is basically, well, I'm not getting paid for it. You know, it's like they give you these radio buttons of things to select, of reasons why you think you shouldn't be nailed for this. It's like, well, I'm not getting paid for it. It's like, doesn't matter. You know, it's like, well, um, it's the you know the other guy is you know, doesn't you know he's they're, you know basically it's a whole bunch of like don't care conditions or things that don't matter at least as far as the law is concerned. So I picked the one that seemed most relevant. Right. And I said. Although we're using the same source game footage, I am not taking from their program. There's no content of Fuji right. TV's program that is yeah. in our production. And to their credit, inside of three minutes, the block was released. Yeah. So, we, okay. So yeah, I, I, okay. I, I, my other thing is, it's not a trap. They're just Some they're the, actually. I think what they're doing is they're trying to actually educate you because yes, you're saying it's like these are things that don't matter, but these are common. To, this is sort of like the. Uh, Oh well, I I wasn't gonna buy that game anyway. It's okay for me to pirate, or I only play, it's okay to pirate a game if you if you, pay, if you play only the first hour. Of it. Remember remember these myths? I don't remember hearing that one. Oh, that that's a very popular one. Really? It used to be, it's like oh, I'm gonna only play the first hour of it, therefore it's okay. Dude, and then if I delete know, it afterwards, it's okay. If you're you only know? gonna play the first hour, rent it. Jeez. Yeah, exactly. Um, but that used to be a common one. It's like well, I'm only gonna play the first hour and then I'll delete it. So therefore, there's like like it's like the five second rule if you drop it on the ground. Apparently, <laughs> so. And we're not getting into the whole discussion, debate about yeah. like the eth ethicality the of, yeah, of no. piracy, which I want. But this is a perfectly legal copy. This was sealed in the box, and I opened it, and yeah. now I can hear thousands of eBay people <laughs> crying out in terror as, as it is like, yes, complete in box, not sealed. Just joking. Yes. So it's our April Fool's episode. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, there. So there's two things. There's the automatic content ID thing. Right. And then there's the in the content claim. Then they have a res they have a good response system though. It's like if you respond and you make a counterclaim, uh -huh. if the other person doesn't respond to it, yeah. you automatically win. Right. That's but that takes two weeks. Yes. Right. But also there's also repercussions to the person who made the claim if they don't respond to it. Yes. So there's yes. that. And then there's the copyright takedown does. Now here's right. an interesting little well, side. Well, I'm getting to that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what after po posting D and um, I think it was. Something else, somebody in the comments um, mentioned, so why is, why is your video up on this other uh, network, this other content, these content partner thing, you know, because so, there, there are some partnership arrangements up there where you've like, you know. Oh, okay. You know, you know it's like yeah, yeah, some, yeah. Some, of, some of these affiliated, you know, federated, right, uh, right. whatever, where you all like, you know pool your ad revenue mm. and share it out and stuff like that. Does somebody owe you a check? And so, so, and so he said, I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And he said, well, here are the links. And so he sent me a couple of links to our video that we did of Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park Interactive. And I went, what happened? And it's on a YouTube channel? It was, it was, it was not on a YouTube channel. It looked like it was an aff somebody who was affiliated with a YouTube channel or something. But basically it was, so as near as I could tell, somebody downloaded our JPI, uh, the JPI video we did last year, re-uploaded it as their own, and slapped a whole bunch of ads on it. Yeah. And they had, I don't know. They so had, did you make a claim I against him? I think, I think <laughs> did you like make a, a claim against the guy? <laughs> for yes, your, I for, did. For your $5 check that you're going to get? Yeah, I did, no, I didn't. I, I do not monetize If it was a Nintendo channel. game, you'd owe them $350. I, I, do not, <laughs> I do not monetize this. I do not monetize this channel. I am probably, I am sorely inclined not to sitting on here, sitting here right now. Yeah, of course not. Um, because every time I see one of those interstitials, it just fills me with rage. Um, <laughs> like the whole point of this was to be better than broadcast television. <laughs> um, what was and it? so, and so, it put me in a really awkward position because I have long held, you know, and if you and if you you know test me on this, I'll th there's more nuance to it. But it's basically computers copy data. End of story. You know, deal with it, pal. Um, <laughs> so if they had just simply re-uploaded it as uh, they simply just re-uploaded re it. And I was like, okay, fine, big deal. And I would have added, silently added their hit count to my own. But he... But then they, he, they, there was no link back to me. Right. He, he presented it more or less as his own work. It was basically the, the description field was blank. There right. was just nothing there. Well. But the thing that really tipped it over me was the ads. He basically maximally... There were like a, there was like an ad break every fifteen minutes. You can, you can see in the timeline, right, the right, YouTube right. scrub bar. There's like ding, ding, where all the ads are going to show up, 
And I just couldn't, so I just couldn't, that just really offended me for some reason. And it was really hard to deal with because I'm sitting there, should I have the right to object to this? I mean, I clearly do, at least as far as the law is concerned, but should I have the right yes. to complain about that? Yeah. Um, and in the end, I filed the take it's, it's a it's a it's a Berkeley kind of license. It's not like hey, you can't make money. Well, no, it's more of a what would you say? It's more of a GNU license. You can use it, but you can't make money off it unless you publish the original or something. Mm, well, you know, GPL. If the rule of the GPL is very simple. If you publish a binary, you must also make available source. Right. So anyway, the end. yeah. Um, if somebody's making money off your own work right. that you gave away for free, that's that's not right. That's 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 cheesy, especially if you file my. If you, especially if you take so the combination of taking my name off it and trying to monetize it, that you know, just so you, did you they, broke the reputation. By, by chance, chain. did they they nuke the audio at the beginning where we introduce ourselves? No, it was a straight copy. Oh, okay. Well, they're, and they're lazy too. <laughs> <laughs> So in the Strike end, three. <laughs> so in the end, I filed uh, the takedown notice, and within 24 hours, the the, the copies were down. My right. interesting. So and so and then when you go to those URLs, you see my name. This thing has been taken down by a copyright notice by me. You, you but, big bad meanie. Yeah. You. <laughs> and, so, and so now my name is. You've now become the person you. The exactly, thing you hate. <laughs> exactly. And I, I've had. People are gonna start spelling your name with a dollar sign instead of an S. So. <laughs> George Lucas is going, welcome to the club, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so that's uh, that's just a few of the things that have, uh, have happened uh, just in the last so, uh, few months. So, it's weird related to that. So, remember uh, we did that Starcade episode? Yes. <laughs> we got permission. Yes, I know. I am proud well, I know. to say... That's, that um, well, that's J, JP Productions gave us permission to use that video. Well, that's, that, is, that is awesome and all. I mean... So they were exceptionally kind. We exchanged email with them for a little bit. I bought those two episodes too. I gave them to me as a birthday gift once. Uh, but, uh, and a lot of those little fuzzy things. Uh, yeah. but, but yes, uh, well, that's interesting. I said new game, but it didn't ask me to change anything. Um, so, but there's dozens, if not hundreds, of Starcade videos on YouTube. Yes. And elsewhere on the net. Yeah. Uh, archive.org has. I think yes, archive.org has a fairly complete. Um, Thing. But uh, well, apparently not. Because, okay, so there's like there's one YouTube channel I, I watch. Uh, I, I watch dozens, but mm -hmm. there's one. It's a, it's a retro collecting guy. He's like uh, I don't know if I want to say his name or not because uh, yeah, yeah. maybe this is a problem for him. Uh, but uh, he just put out a video. It's like I love Starcade, and but I there's but the the archive.org and the JP. What, what oh, the uh, JP Productions is they're incomplete. There's still some episodes that oh. are out there. And he, so he put on his YouTube videos, like, so if any of you guys have any YouTube videos of, of Starcade, you know, mm -hmm. send me a copy or show me where, ask, show me where I can download. Right? Mm -hmm. And I even wrote a comment, I think it's like, hey, you know, we did a <laughs> Starcade. I, and I just gave it to our video. Uh -huh. And then apparently like a week later, he got hit with a copyright notice from, he didn't actually have any Starcade material in his no video or anything in his actual video yeah. but he just said semi starkey moves and apparently jp productions hmm. hit him with a copyright notice and so now he's got a strike against him so he's limited to like 15 minutes on his videos for like three months or something like or more than that so, so he's got a copyright strike against him and i'm like well, did they tell you why because like you didn't actually have any actual starcade content and he was guessing it's maybe because he asked people to send him copies of the videos or something yeah it's unfortunately and i feel kind of because i almost I, I almost want to write back to him and say it's like you know they seem like pretty nice guys why don't you just email them and say what the heck yeah. i yeah i that's uh, yeah i think um that was an error on youtube's part it's like well no i mean the I youtube mean, doesn't do that unless somebody because like i said was no, this you have to file a formal notice right. and then you have to say why yeah you've got um so but it's but at, at that point it's pretty much automatic um well, yeah, I was like, he doesn't, he doesn't quite know why because he said, right, yeah, if there's no content, then there's no infringement, right? And I said, yeah, there, there say, are well, hundreds of YouTube videos that have Starcade, yeah, either just the entire episode, or a lot of people will use that opening theme uh -huh. as part of their YouTube video or as part of the uh, as part of a podcast opening. I know I listen to a lot of podcasts that use that opening theme to Starcade, really, yes, or will you and it's will you use that hard <laughs> and will use those snippets or use those game snippets of like you know. 
uh, the announcer, you know, saying this is this this here is the story because those actually came from the manufacturers' mm-hmm. actual ad copy, and sometimes that's the only yes. ad copy ever made for those games. Yes. They can't find anything other than that, and also mm-hmm. it's like most times it's the only place people know how to properly pronounce things like the name of the game or the company even because uh-huh. it's like well you know the manufacturer gave it to us so we're pronouncing it this way so mm-hmm. that's a you know the, the big debate about how do you pronounce taito it's taito it's taito yes. not taito or <laughs> taito <man>. yeah well <laughs> yeah. yeah and somebody said actually they say their name in a bunch of their games so i don't mm-hmm. know why this is open to debate but apparently it's a great debate amongst people who <laughs> grew up seeing space invaders internally pronounced it taito and now they can't get out of their head and they won't accept that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what it is. So, so anyway, anyway Lucian's interesting. Quest. Yes, Lucian's Quest. <laughs> Famous Tower of uh, Penacatoria, home of the great sorcerer Kokindo. Okay. All right. They did not bother to westernize the names in the slightest, did they? But I guess that's kind of a good thing. <laughs> the hero Chad, you know. <laughs> Hope he can find a my cure for curse. my curse. Let's gather my courage and knock on his door. Hello. Hello. I have a curse. Of course, we haven't seen our yes. hero yet. <laughs> Do we have what? We haven't actually seen the person. They didn't bother with a close-up or anything. Yep. Ooh. Purple hair. Let's just fade away here. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's what they had for bold face back then. Oh, who are you? Now, the Japanese version of this is one of the few uh, games that won't play on a U.S. machine because it used the, the kanji font. Ah. The internal kanji font, so... Which was th- in the, th- only th- in the Japanese ROMs. Right. Ago. Or ago. 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 <laughs> ago, yeah. Argo. Yeah, not cool. No, no, copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Big degree. Trademark. It was here. <laughs> Are you deaf? I told you. He's not here. <laughs> Um, um. Okay. <laughs> some people the love. End. Some people love their uh, their cutscenes. Okay. In game yes. cutscenes. Oh, flashback. Okay. You can tell it's slightly sepia toned. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice try, but okay. Huh. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if that's hell the pr- or high water. If that's the, uh, the uh, if, if that's the translator who probably speaks perfect English, just having some fun. <laughs> <laughs> going, ha, ha, ha. Oh, oh yeah. uh, uh, all right, <laughs> got me. Okay, ha ha. <laughs> you fell for the climb and sinker. Face first. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, it's also an astrologist in your life. <laughs> um. Could you describe the change, sir? You must follow your heart. Oh, yes. Your heart will go on and all. Just like the song. Master shakes his head. Master shake? Where? Now, I must leave. Have a safe journey. Huh? You get the feeling that the space in these was made for the Japanese version of like the, the text bubbles, and so therefore... <laughs> That's why there's so much... Uh... This is the tale of our said light. Uh oh, flashback again. Flashback. Again. However, he's gone. He's not excited. <laughs> you, but you're a girl. You haven't asked when he's coming back. Bubbly bubbly boo. Yeah, he might have just gone, you know, gone for, you know, yeah, late lunch or something. Exactly. <laughs> Got the hobies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm casting a spell. <laughs> wow, you should write for video games. You're <laughs> guessing. <laughs> to talk to the dead, press one. For the Ethereum, the Eternium, or the Emerald Beyond, please hold. Ah, it's falling from. She's faking it. <laughs> Fear it. <is> a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? She's <laughs> she's just a girl. 
<laughs> Couldn't have gotten a larger font, huh? Just gonna <laughs> scale up. Just scale it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, memory, you know. I still. Not that much. It was anti aliased I mean, Not that much memory. Come on. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> oh, <whoa>. oh <laughs> Um, I am now in control. Oh, you're. Oh, okay. You're driving. All right. Yeah, actually, I, is there right. any rotating? Uh... Okay. Whoa. Okay. I can't destroy this until the destruction power becomes five. Wait. I can destroy this, really? So I can do status, rest, item, magic, system, formation, save. Hey, let's save. Why not? I can't save it. It's red. I, oh. <laughs> rest, formation, magic, system, equip. Wow. Ah, so I remember why I stopped playing RPGs. Yes, I do. Spell antidote, healing charm, speed teleport, fireballs. That sounds so cool. But it's red, so I guess you're not smart enough to do them yet. Uh, let's see. How do I... Please say, yep, see, okay. I'm so used to modern button conventions for things. Um, I'm always kind of amazed when... Uh, I think it's... Who, who do you think is most responsible for, I guess, what you might say, the current arrangement of buttons? Oh, I, I don't know. I would say a zillion different... Uh, I can't remember if I'm supposed to look around here for stuff or not, or I'm just actually supposed to just kind of, like, wander around. Oh, automatic doors. Didn't have to touch anything. That's so cute. And you don't... And you can't rotate... Hello. Oh, hi! Who's that? Who are you? You can sometimes find a talisman in the treasure box in the dungeons. Hmm. Sounds uh, like a hint. So just random... Whoop. It's power of protecting our enemies. Well, you're clearly not a magician. Okay. Ah, same thing. Hmm. Solomon's pot. <laughs> nice. It's... 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 Uh, it really, almost lo it almost fairly looks zippy. Like, you know? Yeah. It almost it's dungeons, like, but I just want to see if I can't remember if there's like stuff up here. It almost looks like you you should be able to rotate it. Oh. Um I might be able to. Know. We are the representatives of the source. So we're looking down. Oh you can. What? Fix camera position, camera, camera VR, VR two. two. Oh. And VR one. High speed camera. Ooh, I see. Oh, so oh ooh, this. fancy schmancy. Okay, so, I don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> zippy camera, zippy cams, zip, zip, zip. Hello. Guy with pot on head. So, figure it out yourself then? Is that what you're saying? Wait. Magic must be found along the journey, not bought in the store. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Besides, Walmart won't pay the going rate. You have the power to go home all along. Oh, da, 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 see. Um. What did you do? I'm hitting the C head. button. It does something. I don't oh, know. All right. Can I hit you? Evidently not. So apparently, I bet if I go into the dungeon and destruct something, I'll be able to bash this open or something. Like that. Probably. Oh, oh hello. What a confusingly designed house. Oh, here's a box. I see a box. Sort of. Oh. Tamed. Hey, you just bump into stuff. And it's ah, cool. yes. What was it? Yahtzee wrote, it's like if adventure gaming were a disease, the first, uh, the first symptom would be amnesia followed closely by kleptomania. Right. Can I destroy this? Not yet. All right. Oh, I guess I'll go up my destruct power. Gee, maybe there's like a dungeon, a handy dungeon nearby that I could do this in. Possibly. I don't know. Dungeons are usually in the basement. That's usually where they keep them. So. <laughs> so apparently we might have invoked the ire of some of the people on the 3DO forum. Uh, oh. Because because we've been absent for a while. Oh. Which is weird. again, that's all on me. Okay. But also, uh, 
remember how I had oh so offhandedly complained about the name of the 3D Zero Forum? Ah, uh, yes. And they changed it to the 3D Forum, 3D, and I was like, 3D oh, Zone, yeah. The 3D Zone, yeah. Well, apparently Google is now like, uh, th- th- their searching results of Google don't show up for that forum anymore. I noticed that. I was actually looking for it, and I was like, why can't I find this on Google? Yeah. And they, they, they're, everybody's speculating it's because they changed the name. And I was like, well, that doesn't suddenly make you invisible to Google, because, you know, right. it's a new website, so I don't know. So they're like, and this is all their fault, too. This is all, particularly it's my fault. And he goes, and, they, and they've and they abandoned us, too. They haven't even, do they even come around here anymore? And it's like, oh, uh, it's like, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I did, uh, no, that was, no, that was actually the um, retro gaming blog guys um, yeah. that, I, that I hopefully helped out recently. Retro gaming blog, um, which one? The that? gentleman, Ooh. I can't remember his name. Is the principal guy? Ash? Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah. Of course, I know Ash. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, put him in touch with uh, Reichardt, ah, so that he could uh, ask questions about uh, return, return fire. fire. Two. Yeah, yeah. Or return fire. Yeah, yeah. Not return fire two. That was that was, that was a different thing. Okay. All right. He's an emergency. Uh, is this an emergency? Interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hold on to that one. <laughs> Just one. Boot. You have to find the other one. Another leather boot. Okay. Whoa! Can I for, buy, for buying the other leather boot, yeah. Bonk. Okay, so it looked like there was something behind here. A box. Now, is, or was this like a... Oh, I guess, can you bash these crates? Not yet. So, oh. after you become strong enough to bash the crates, then you can get at the box. Okay, so maybe do I need to... I don't like that that actually loads that second menu. That's kind of annoying. You can hear it access the yes, disc every time. Uh, yeah, let's see. Hit, hit the disc points, to, to, to load the, that imagery. Yeah. Should, should she have like some leather stuff on? Maybe? Sandals. What oh, else could you do? Can I do another really. boot? Protect plus two. Four, huh. Although, is she going to be front and center, or is he going to be front and center? Oh, wait, let's see. Uh, let's just scroll down to the other guy. Oh, damn it. Oh, I can also just Oh, L and R. Yeah, there you go. He probably should have some boots. It's all about the boot. About the <laughs> okay. But yeah, yeah, Ash. Yeah, his, he, he runs that, like, Monday, Wednesday, and... Mm-hmm. Uh, Saturday. Saturday, you say. Normally, I'm uh, at work when I did, watch um, those. Uh, he did uh, Police Knots recently, didn't he? Yeah, and I missed that. I wanted to see it because I have a copy of Police Knot. It's in Japanese, of course, because it's a 3 do version. He did one of those fan translates Oh. Um, that somebody did for the for the, the PlayStation. And That's now, some... now that people have figured out how to do signing a 3 do disc, I'm mm. just hoping that they... That somebody will actually look at that, just substitute the text, like rip the text out of the PS1 version, put it on the 3DO version, re-sign mm-hmm. the disc, and then we'd have a properly playable. And then we, I would love to do Police Knots as, uh-huh. as, a, as a thing. So who, oh, geez, who wrote it? I mean Hideo Kojima. H- Hideo Kojima, yeah. Uh, apparently, there's... who had a bit of a falling out recently with uh, Konami. Um, um, apparently, although um, the loading ready run guys have been making fun of that it's just like so it's not doing Metal Gear, Gear Solid again oh wait yes he is uh, con- contradicting a previous statements that he would not be doing Metal Gear uh, Solid yeah, this sounds remarkably similar to a story we did five years ago when this was a different show right 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 <laughs> yeah although like I said they've taken his name apparently off of like all the, the Metal Gear Solid 5 Zone oh. Zero Ground Zero whatever the heck whatever, that thing is called yeah. this one I don't know. Oh, we're in the great big outdoors. There's a cloud. Do I have any attack level here? Where is that dungeon? Hello, dungeon. Where are here you at? Dungeon. Oh, random encounter. In this pocket universe. So, I don't have attack level 5. Uh, how am I going to fight these guys if I don't have any... Uh... I don't know. Oh, great. Space invaders. That's one of these. It's like that. I guess the front. Yeah, yeah, that's all you got there. I, well, I can't really attack because they're behind something, so I've got to. 
Oh wait, I can also block send here, and then I can, uh, can I magic these little bozos? Fireballs? I don't, I don't know if a, a fireball will work. Uh, oh, very nice. So it's, that's a, that's much nicer than what you have, like, fire, fire, uh, fire, Yeah, I see, uh, yeah. box, so, wolf bite. Great, and I just opened up myself to the wolf attack because uh, I oh. fireballed the thing. Okay. Ah, so now the tree is out of the way. Attack. Uh, which wolf do I want? Uh. Oh, are you kidding me? Am I about to okay, die? Okay, she's dead. <laughs> really? Yeah, she only had like 60 points. Uh, can I retreat here? Maybe I should... I don't know. Escape? <laughs> oh my god. This is... Maybe I should heal up a bit here. Now right, back, back to the tower. Does, does entering the tower heal you, or...? One would hope. Well, what is the status Did I talk to all these guys? Yes, thank you. Wait, talked about armory. Where's the armory? Dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. Suddenly, my neighbor decided to move some leaves around. I probably can't hear it. These are actually quite good microphones. <laughs> well, yeah, if they were good, then they wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to hear them unless they're right next they're, to the they're microphone. Cardioids, they're not shotguns. <laughs> Wait, what is Lucian's? Uh... So, should I make for the town as fast as possible? If I only knew where the town was. Oh, look, it's the overworld, over underworld here. No, it's uh, saturated. It's the time of day thing. I'm about to attack. Be attacked by something. I can, I can I escape? Um. Oh. She's yeah. She's still in bad shape. Yeah. Darn. Uh. She's, although know. she does have the healing potion, so. HP recovery. How is he doing? He's not doing so hot either. He's he's about he's down by about sixty, I think. I just escape. Miss. Oh, Jesus. She's looking mighty. Well, let's just I'm just gonna stay in back here. I don't know. Oh, I can see. I can oh, see the refresh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Except that she only has. Wolf bite. Ah, so there's trees. Can there. I escape? Let's try escaping. Run away! Run away! Oh, it's kind oh, of for crying out loud. Sixty-three. That's all she gets. Fireball. Well, all right. Didn't do jack, and now Wolf is gonna kill. Down, she's down, yeah, she's down by half. <laughs> yeah, she has no armor. Right? Aha. Ooh, pixel shatter! Yay, Yay. Jeff Minter destroyed the alien. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wonder if I can fire a fireball through him or if uh, not. Uh, uh, well, I mean, I'd basically wait for them to just like eat eat the trees, or you could try escaping again. Let's just get out of here, cause. Dun, dun, dun. It's music. It's miss. Jeez. I'm just gonna it's sit here. Again. I'm just gonna sit behind this big, uh, burly big, guy. Big lunkhead, yes. Yeah. yeah, great. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to fight you guys. I'm kind of a pacifist here. I want to just want to get to town. And... <laughs> 
looks like you're... Can I escape? What? Yeah. They really want us to... Well, maybe you can... Maybe you can... I don't know. No, I that's, I that's right, the last time you tried to slash through a tree, it cut the tree down. God. Take the rearward one. Yeah. Now he decides to step aside. He's a little... Uh, can I get like all the way over here? Or do like a. How much magic does she have? Well, she's quite a bit of magic, isn't she? MP. Oh, yeah, she's swimming and stuff. Tree. Oh, you alas. Now I'm dead. No, no, you're. He's in much better shape than she is as far as. So now it's last time. Whoa, okay. Let's try some fireball. A bottle of fire, scarecrow. <laughs> We're carrying gold. Yeah, well, yeah. Hey, cat, you gonna sit on my jacket and maybe ha make me take some fleas home with me? Let me, me? Uh, let me take care of that. <laughs> yeah. He's looking for new things to lay down on. Of course. On, well, it's help. a synthetic, so I doubt uh, doesn't remember to shake it out before I. <laughs> yeah, Ash's uh, channel's pretty cool. You realize he had like a uh, he had a new baby recently. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. What's his, what's his name? Uh, no, I can't remember his name. It's like, it's like, what is it? Ah. Oh, I, can't, I feel bad because I can't remember, I can't remember the name. Oh, darn it. I haven't got to the colony yet. Where's the dungeon? I want to get some attacks. Yeah. You silly little... So if you can actually hit them, they go down, looks like. How's her healing? Uh, she probably should heal up soon, shouldn't she? Probably. Foosh! Ha. Ha Hey, wait, what's this? What's that? Wait, what is that? Colony? Sound? Entry sign. North Colony East Babbage. North Colony? Uh, I mean, I have they mean this north. Oh, here it is. Oh, this place is tiny. <laughs> hey, were you attacked by wolves? Colony. Badly named, but okay. <laughs> Welcome to Colony. Can I do a healing charm? Oh, I guess we can't kill him. Oh, we got here. Uh, oh, he could do with some, definitely. Oh! Boy, she's good. She's quite good. Now I'm guessing if she rests in a bed or something, she'll probably be fine. Yeah. Mm. Hello, you're the first person here, so obviously you have something important to tell me. <laughs> Can they destroy stone walls? Can they destroy crates? Crates would be <laughs> awesome. It's kind of like an Animal Crossing feel of this, isn't it? Uh, sort of Animal Crossing, but also the mechanics of um, Final Fantasy. Are hardware. In here. Owner of hardware. Okay. May I help you? Bye. That's nice stuff. Oh, Ooh. this is... Oh, this is not really good hardware. This is... <laughs> Helmet. Well, uh, do we need? He doesn't have any weapons, though. Sandal under the helmet. Cause like, she's got like a knife and he's got, like a butter knife, and, and he's got you know not much <laughs> else. For some reason, I remember this having a chunkier frame rate than this. Yeah, yeah, thank you. 
We covered that. Thank you very much. Oh, jeez. Get, stop trying to run into me. Yeah. Oh, who are you? Hey, Zelda. That's it. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh, mean Thank you, Mrs. Something. Exposition. Wow. I bet you get all it's straight like, A's and slick like, too. It's like, little, it's like Lindsay Lohan or something. <laughs> mean girl uh, <laughs> armory. Yeah, here we go. Can I attack this crate, please? Hey, I wonder if it's, this is I can test out my uh, my attack ability when I have attack level four. Yeah. Or five. Uh, let's see. Knife, a dagger. Can I? Well, he, can he use anything? What's he got right now? A bow would be awesome, I guess. Oh, okay. See, oh, that's nice. They tell you like dagger with up Lucian's ability, spear. Okay. Side to take his down. Wow. A bow would actually take his down. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if I should give her a bow. Because then she could do like a long range attack, and then mm -hmm. it's like short sword. Well, wait, he already. Basically, he, basically she's got a, a sugar spoon, and he's. I uh, only have, let's see, I've got 100. Uh, 253 gold. That because gives me he's already got a sword. Dagger. Why is a dagger higher 200 gold versus a bow you think would be like. I don't know, show me the dagger. It's a special dagger. Mm, clearly. So, and this is one of the reasons why I don't go in for RPGs like this very often, is because you have to like play out. Okay, so what are the advantages versus the disadvantages? Where you're trying to, you know, maximize the numbers, so that you can attack your enemies with numbers, because they have lower numbers. Anything else you need? Anything yeah, I can yeah. sell? Can I sell stuff? With this? Um, I think you have to go back to the beginning. Oh, you want some sandal? Oh, yeah, short sword. Huh. 35 gold? What is that, a Birkenstock? Hey, whatever. <laughs> so, let's see. If I go and equip... Can you slip in that little hallway-looking thing to the left there? Oh, fine on it. Nope, nope. That's just the. That's just how they do the. Uh, the in, you know the fog of war, I guess, for this room. Or just... Let's see what we got here. So who's got what? So a weapon. She currently has a knife. But I, I gave her a short sword. That helped. So shield, leather cap, torso leather. So she's pretty well versed. Uh, he, um, on the other hand, he's got... Uh, also has a short sword. What else does he have? Knife. Knife doesn't help him, does it? Yeah. Destroy. He's already, he already has a short sword. Yeah. Leather shield, leather cap, leather gloves. His destruction is three. So I, my, my goal is to get their destruction, uh, their destruction up to four, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could... Hmm. This, I, I suppose none of their armor doesn't help their destruction, I'm guessing. I'm guessing not. So... Interesting. Hello. Just going to run into things today. Let's see. Bye. Who gets their destruction up to four? Uh, let's see. Well, the dagger was impressed. Oh, it's no, it's not. It's, it's two hundred gold, though. Run. Or is that is that is that the skill level you need to wield it? Or no, that should attack point four plus destroy one, destroy two. Oh, wait a minute. Destroy... Attack is... De so, it's only showing me attack. It's not showing me, I think, the destroy. Is that your to total destroy, or is that the... Uh... I'm sure this is covered in the... Big I'm sure it's covered in the mode here. Well, because it says there, destroy three, mm -hmm. which is what they have now. So, it's it's not increasing it. It's attack plus 22, so it's saying what it would do. And none of these things get me up to destroy. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, thank you. You're not helpful. All right. Uh... <laughs> Let's go buy some hardware. Maybe we can, like, you know, 
Not her. Equip some steroids or something. <laughs> there are destroy up there. Like some gauntlets on. maybe or something. Some what? Gauntlets, gloves, oh, yeah. you know. Not the game. I really wear it. Leather sandal, leather cap. Well, you no. don't have. Well, you don't have a cap. So that's just protect. Yeah. Protect. Her. Why am I supposed to? Am I supposed to just go kill some more wolves? Is that basically the idea here? Grind away in the fields. Uh, sure. It's not bunny rabbits. I can no. do all the Warcraft. <laughs> I'm going to slay help this bunny, oh, Warple bunny, oh, it's just a harmless bunny, you know. <laughs> Look at the bones! Look at that! Now, Baba Duke or whatever the hell it was, it's supposed to be on the east side. Pardon me? The inn. Oh, this is how you uh, record, let me guess, this is how you, uh... How, how you rest. How you get my MP, my magic yeah. points and health back, I probably shouldn't have... Good morning. So, is there breakfast included? Yeah, no useful information, huh? Oh, geez. Can I go steal from somebody else? Oh, good thing they, uh, they have two beds. Exactly how many we need. <laughs> Pretty crappy inn. <laughs> That's right in the middle of everything. Oh, what's this? That's a tree. tree. Oh, random encounter out here. Maybe did I can we, get my... Did we leave? I think we left um, Colony. Wasn't I supposed to go east or something for something? Can you cross the river? Can you cross the river? Oh, maybe. I thought I said east is, was the way east to the ba stuff. Ba yeah. Baduke or whatever. Baba Duke. Baba Duke. I guess that's good. Babcock. Nope. nope. Ah, nope. alright. What was that sign say? Babcock. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dangerous on the way to the colony. The village. Hi guys. Just gonna sit oh, here and defend for a while here while you guys bite some trees for a while here. Can I? Yeah. Yeah, I think she's got. Have a, a little fire, shot. Scarecrow. Yeah. Remembers my last selection. That's nice. Yeah. Uh oh, not dead. Ooh, half, her, half her health. There's the other half of her health. She like dead? She's a, yeah, there she is. Flat flat ground. Darn it. Should I just escape? If I escape and I miss, then that's the problem, isn't it? I'm gonna have to stand here Stand's right in front of well, well give give him a good uh, shellacking there. I mean you're I mean you have way more hit points than she does. Wait a minute, I get 60 some damage in that little. Yeah. Of course, maybe that was the wolf that already. Oh, and he chickens out, and he get gold out of the damn thing! Oh, oh seven gold. Well, that's good. He dropped some gold, because, you know. I think that the wolf was trying. So this tenth is, of that dagger. So this is what the wolves do, huh? They just, like, rob people, I guess, on the way of yeah. it. So let's see, I guess I gotta cure... I don't cure. understand why they don't run away more. I guess I gotta cure myself. Uh, a little uh, magic missy here. Thank you. That's a pretty powerful charm you got there. I still forgot the... Formation? Oh, this said... No Baba Chop. Oh I, oh, I see, there's the bridge down there. Baba Goosh. Baba, baba. Oh, sunlight. Sun's going down. Unless they have the time Little, of day. Uh, whoa. Who's this guy? Who the hell is this? Uh, that's the troll guarding the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Ogre. Oh, great. I just gave oh. a clear shot. Can I... I don't know if I can fireball through... Uh, well, now that the bush is gone... Wait, can I back up here for a second? Maybe? half of his. Oh. How's 
was his health. Yeah. See the sun's going down, it's getting all yellow, and that's darkening up here. It's bad. Whoops. I tripped the wolf. Oh, uh, great gelatinous bubbly. What the hell? <laughs> dead creepy. Yeah, that's dead creepy, alright. Whoa! How do you do that? Oh, oh there's these. Can I do a. Do I think it does like area attack? Yeah, oh man. Not a three, clearly. A game of life simulation going on here. It's like there's two of them. Well, they're actually just a slash. This. Oh, his hit. Oh, well, I should. Oh, I'll see. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Hey. He's almost down. Oh. Hey, does he automatically gain his health back if uh, he levels know. us? Let's find out. Where's the magic button for the stats? Nope. Yeah, he needs. <laughs> Let's not get the, uh, the bab truck here. Hopefully, there's bab truck. There it is. Yeah. Oops, I, damn it, I went to the trees. No, don't go into the forest! No, don't go into Fangorn to... Forest! Oh no! No, it's a bull that, uh, oh, They look guys. like slightly different wolves. Oh, I think it's just the night time. No, it's just a wolf. Watch out! Not quite. Hmm. She'll have to move over. Yeah. Otherwise, she's gonna hit the tree. Oops. Oh, that's nice enough. Oh, she's got a knife. She's just sold a knife. Uh, I think. He's been softened up a bit. You think yeah, I think one so. should do it? Gotta save your magic points, uh, little missy. He's been derezzed. Critical hit. Come on. You can yeah. do Not quite. I'm actually there gonna scab her. I'm gonna scab her slash. Light roasting here. Hey. Alright. Da 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 da. So is Lucian. Da, 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 yeah, da, 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 Lucian's da, da, levels da, da, increased. Da, da, da. Yeah, she's now. She's now a badass, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and... Baba Chop! Oh, oh, oh. Baba Chop! Oh, boo! It's one of their four Okay, so scary, it's basically, scary. Stay uh, away. ethnic... things. <laughs> Hello. Are those boar drums? <laughs> Apropos of nothing. I was just asking where the restroom was. That's what I was saying. See, that's notice you have these crates here? Uh-huh. Because you need a uh, thing. Hey, is this somebody's house? Well. Yes, yes, yes. I don't need to talk to you. Thank you. So that's... Walk, a, up, walk up to one and see what happens. There's crates, right? Where's your stats? Uh, what, these things? No, no, no. The other stats. You know, like... Like this? I, my story is not high enough yet. What about the other guy? But that's what he's saying. He said you need a battle axe. Oh, okay. And I said you could buy it. So if I could buy a battle axe, then that's great. That's awesome. Well, her, yeah. So both your hit points went up. Yeah, both. Yeah, both your but, stats went up. But there's difference between destroy and a, yeah. Is this a dungeon or is this a what is this? Is this a dungeon or is this a shop? A very dungeon. It looks like a shop. Oh, this is their version of the inn, I guess. Ten gold pieces for. Good thing I robbed some wolf, some wolves on the way in. Yeah, and an ogre. Yeah. By the way, did we mention you only have three days to accomplish your mission? What? Whatever the hell it is. Wait, was that what he said? Remember, at full moon, he turns into a werewolf. Yeah. Really? Well, oh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, oh, these are all connected to each other. Okay, thanks. Thanks for sharing. Who's, what's that behind him here? The mole bears. Oh, interesting. Yeah, 
Colorado. Oh, so this is your finding out backstory for the next member of your party. Mm. So this mini Maga whatever guy is just probably some. So this is like this is like a maze, essentially. So where's the where can I buy a battle axe around here? This looks very uh, battle axe-y. Hey, hey what are the <laughs> nice, nicely done. Can I buy a battle axe? Yeah. I'm sorry, she's out. Aha, sorry, she's out. Ah, hey, fun. Destroy four. Hmm. Hand axe club. club. Well, how come he's not? I should sell my other one. Okay, so where's something I where's yeah, some crates right. that I can uh, yeah, bash? I find a poor defenseless crate. Here, sorry, you crate. need sorry you need to attack five. Here, crate, crate, crate. Oh, there we go. Destruction power. Um, hello. Oh, Wait. I didn't. I oh, I didn't equip it. I bet. I did not equip it, right. that's why. You're gonna give her that? Why not? Alright. His attack won't go up, but her destruction power will. Ah, oh, alright. So. Because I see if I go to him and I say, okay, I'm gonna change his weapon, huh. his attack goes down on all these things. So. Huh, alright. Alright. That's what you gotta pay attention to. Okay. And then. That's all right. Like him? You mean I can't break him? Ooh. Yeah, thank you. I just noticed me doing it, huh? So I now I gotta go back to the tower and get that crate, that box, and it's like mm -hmm. in those wardrobes. Yes, and I'm walk, just gonna, I'm just gonna go back through the overland once again. Yeah, but I also can go in the dungeon though. Apparently, mm -hmm. now should I should I go to the tower first? Or should I go to the dungeon? Usually it's like, yeah, you think. Of... Uh, I don't know, the tower sounds like it's safer, <laughs> less, less dungeony, less dungeony. <laughs> I don't know, where can you get in the next, I don't know, five to ten minutes? Oh, is that where we're at? We're, we're, about, we're about to 55 minutes. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, is that a compass? Probably. Flower thing? Behold my mighty club, you wolves. Or you no, guys. No, you're self-replicating. That is dead creepy. Gelatinous, gelatinous cubes because... Uh, just because we can't. Well, they're not cubes, you see. Well, no, I think it's more because they're uh, gelatinous cubes. I think are owned by like the, I want to say like the Dragon Quest series or something, like or and or Dungeons and Dragons. So like, yeah. these are gelatinous dodecahedrons. Yeah, uh, <laughs> how do they hold that shape? We're not sure. They're very anal retentive. Let's go back to the tower and break some crates. Why don't you just hate it when those ogres walk in your room? I'm busy! Wow, you're on water. Dog can swim. Quick and Ago. Oh, I'm gonna let her slash. She never has any fun. Should I do one, two? Uh, I do one, because then only one of them will bite you. Well, oh, Of course you go after the, the little girl. Jeez. You feel like a big man, but a girl. <laughs> Ninety, nicely done. Yes, yes, yes. Stop your your helicopter. Okay, so let's go back and break some cues. We're going through dusk here. Yes, yes, I know. Baba Cock, whatever. Baba Ganoush. Uh, <laughs> hauling ass through the f ah, darn it! Cat. One cannot swing one's dead cat without coming. Yeah, oh, no, there's ogre. three. There's six ogre. shrubs in the way, so. Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna let him slash through. How about that? I'm just gonna sit here in defense for a while while he. Really? Yeah. That's right. what you're going with here. Right? Okay. Let me guess. Let's let the dummy do the work here. Sure, of course. Thank you. Whoop! Ooh. Oh. Sneaky. Okay. A little fire, Scarecrow. We got a lot of magic. Fully healed up. So, we're gonna go for a four. 
I swear I think that may be overdoing it, but. We'll see. Hundred? I don't know. He yeah. looked like a, he looked like he'd be a hundred. You know, he's been working out, taking care of himself. That's a, sixteen experience points. I wonder if like the number of experience points in any way correlates. Where's the tower? No, you're not. You have to go further, uh, for, further east. East? Oh. Yeah. Well, now, I'm, now I've hit some more ogres. I bet Maybe like one or two. Oh, wolves! Can I just escape uh, while they deal with the brush? There we go. Hey, he escaped. Uh, so we all been running away. What? This way? Yeah, that way. Really? Really? Yeah, that's what I remember. Really? Yeah. East, from the tower. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, let him knock down the, the tree. Or, or you can run away. I just don't... I want to get to the tower. I want to pursue right, the so, so see the little uh, carpet oh. moving straight up there? Oh, there? And then to the left? Yep. There you go. Your, your built-in GPS. Yeah. That's my yeah. Uh, apparently, that's my superpower is hmm. that I can remember. So that's why um, Monster Manor almost never had a map. Let's see. There was like some crates over here, right? That's right. Well, waste not, want not. Just need to open the one. Gladius. That's a one what? of those spell things, isn't it? Okay. It's well. Let's find out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's a sword. 34. Ooh. Oh, I can Ooh. give it to him. I yeah, definitely. Hello. Oops. Equipment. Uh, let's see. What do I got here? Mm. Welcome to the Renaissance Festival. B is technically back, but I'm just not used to the B button being there. B, uh, oh. oh, oh, okay. Curse you, literature. Oh, I can't describe it. No, it was something else. There was a closet around here somewhere. Yes, I think it was in, um, da that was down. Down? The main room there. Yeah, there it is. Curse you, witch. Curse you, wardrobe. Yep, nothing. I'm just destroying my master's, uh, <laughs> yeah, your master's fine possessions armor, here. Yeah. Ah, oh. at least there's a hidden thing behind there. Well, well, he'd be surprised. <laughs> so much for that occasional table. Ethan Allen? I don't think so. Can I, that? Well, can I sleep here? It's my own bed, sort of. I... Can you rest? Is there a rest entry on the menu? See if that's kind of a skewy thing. Or... Yep. Yeah, where can you rest? What the heck is that? That's the cat. Is that scratching something? Yes, he is. Okay. He's a very pretty cat. We call him the male model of cats because he's very pretty, very fluffy, and about as smart as a brick. Mm. Um, this stuff won't break. Well. So, so you could take you could take a uh, a brick, wrap it in a mink stole, and would be as pretty and as intelligent. This stuff won't break. Well, let's come on, let's keep climbing. There's got to be some stuff to break around here somewhere. Oh like no, that, that looks very breakable. Cool. Frigid air here. Nope, nothing. I keep hoping I'm gonna find like a, a hidden door or something because you mm. know it's a Japanese RPG. There's got to be hidden Zelda things. You know, bomb some walls <laughs> and. Mm. De -de 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 -de. Yeah, I've already some crates. Oh, crates. Crates, 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 crates. Crates. Zero stones, zero crates. Sure, well. Wait. There's it? No, no. Hmm. Well, that was anticlimactic. Well, least, I mean, we got a nice sword out of it, I suppose. Definitely. Well, I guess if we're running late on time, so I think. Uh, so you've been playing with a new PC, huh? I've been playing, got myself a new machine. Um, actually, it's. So my previous machine was eight years old, hmm. which was a dual core, two gigahertz uh, thingy, and now it's a 3.9, well, it's stock 3.3, .3, overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz, um, hex core with thread hype, uh, and now can finally run 40 properly at, uh, at full speed. Uh, I'm not sure. It's, somehow it's easier to set it up this way, because otherwise I have to haul the whole machine in here. Um, 
I don't remember. Wait, I think my last two laptops could run 40 I mean, like, <laughs> Well, you buy you buy stuff. For example, the laptop that I'm recording this on now, this, that's also about seven or eight years old. Mm. Um, I basically t I basically run systems to death. Yeah. Um, and in this case, it didn't even die. It's the the machine. The old machine is still good. But I, I, I started getting. Save. It, it's, 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 why won't let me ever, ever let me save? Well, I think you can save oh, now. now. Well, I can't, wait, not, not that's, that's the exact opposite of most games, where it's like, if you're in the overworld, you can't save, but if you're like in a building or a town, you're safe. You know? Hmm. know. Makes no sense. Makes no sense, but anyway, I should go kill something. Oh, that's <laughs> your, hey, prayer's answered. Hmm. Um, it's the bubbly, bubbly oh. things. Oh, it's not working. Okay. Okay. Scary. Here, how many points can I do with my Gladius? Which is a fun game. Oh, wow, that's a lot of that. Dead creepy. I don't think so. Oh, punch. Wait, why did she punch? Oh, just because you got a club. Okay, I was gonna Apparently, say punch, you punch with a club. As opposed to slash, whack, yeah. thunk, thunk, bonk. Hammer. Um, so, so, um, so, yeah, I do have a new toy now. Hmm. Um, it's also going to make producing these videos easier because whereas a one hour video would take about an hour to compile, to encode. Uh, the new machine does it in about six minutes. So, ten times faster. Which is one of the reasons why I wait like eight years, because <laughs> the new machine is like, wow! That's Aww. interesting. Wait, he bites you and then runs away? I know, it's sort of like... Poof! So I suppose I should head back to Babcock, uh, Baba Chuck, Pork Chop, or whatever. Pork Chop, yeah. <laughs> where the dungeon is, where the people live underground, and they all like Wooba the batteries. Chop, yeah. Oh, really? Can I, can I tax break? Can I? Maybe you can angle through there. Yeah. Now they're both in striking, striking location. How much gold were they carrying? Their little um, transparent bodies. 20, Twenty-one. Oh, they're quite, each. they're quite uh, rich, aren't they? Yeah. Just, when they so, move so slow, they're being weighed down by gold coins. <laughs> little clouds, little transparent clouds. It's like, oh. You stepped in the trees again. Oh no. I don't know if that's a given that, you know, oh, jeez. <laughs> Just wolves, come on. <coughs> Me? Yeah. Me, I've been enjoying my, uh, my 3D printer. Yes! You, sh you, sh you oh, wait, shared wait. some videos with that, with me. some time-lapse videos. Um, what, what have you been building? Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> people you, people work, did... people work want stuff, you know, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of, uh, so... Uh, you know, fun stuff that is work. All my good prints are at work. That's my thing. It's like uh, I mean, and it's it's oh, one of the prints. What? All my good prints I take to work ah, and okay. put them on my desk. Uh -huh. Um, and I keep trying to do like some really big prints because, mm -hmm. but they can take a they can, a they can take a long time. And the other thing is like you have to kind of attend them. Uh, something like I've that. only every I've only once like put a print because I had to get this done because I printed some stuff for my dad's birthday. I got I, I made some 3D puzzles for him. Oh, nice. Um, and so I had to, you know, to get it out in time, I had to have it, you know, basically finish by that night. And then, so... Can you save I, in town? Yeah, let me see. Let me see. No. no. That is so weird, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to save here. I'll just go outside. <laughs> Weirdly, you have to go out of the safety of the town where you cannot be attacked to save. It just seems like it's, it's just like a, that's kind of oddball. That's true. But yeah, so I made some 3D puzzles for him, um, mm -hmm. and one of them I did a print overnight while I was asleep, mm -hmm. and it messed up a little bit. Ooh. It wasn't wasn't cast dry. It messed up, but it had like some holes in it. And I thought oh, I don't want to give it to my dad. So it's like I fiddled with the settings a little bit on the print and re-sliced it and all that. And uh, then so then it's like okay, set it to go, and then. 
watched it go for a few minutes, and then headed off to work, and then fingers crossed that eight hours later it would be fine when I got when I got back. So and yeah, it worked. So, oh, it did. Okay, all yeah. right. I thought you were gonna have like the, the big spaghetti. Well, because yes. because I, I thought it's like oh I could I was I was trying but I didn't have this set up. I thought maybe I could set up because uh, you can remote the the printer controls via either USB or can control over Wi-Fi. Hmm. And I thought I wonder if I could relay my GoPro video when I time lapse these things. Mm -hmm. If I could, instead of time lapse, it have it feed the live view because I can feed that to my phone over a Wi Fi if I VPN it mm -hmm. or set up some kind of a thing where I could, like, okay, I could watch the print if it show messed me video, up. Show me the video up to now. Yeah. If I, or no, I would just like, just watch it. It'd be laggy of it. But, oh, okay. Yeah. But then send a remote command to the printer to shut down if I saw it was going, I mean, basically just monitor it from work, uh -huh. kind of like I'm supposed to be able to do with my security camera. Oh, uh, because I, 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 Oh, because of the printer, I bought a security camera. Because <laughs> originally, I bought a printer that mm -hmm. I'd been waiting over, almost a year for. Oh. And apparently, they delivered it, mm -hmm. allegedly. Uh, they delivered it, and I got home. No printer. First of all, I was pissed that they just delivered it. Uh -huh. um, and didn't... Get a signature. Didn't get a signature. Yes. Uh -huh. This is a, it was a $600 printer. When I bought it, it was a $600 printer. And so, they just just left... Uh, they claimed they left the... Delivery service claims they left it on the front porch. I kind of doubt this because I had something else delivered before this earlier in the day uh -huh. by another delivery carrier. And it was there. It was there. I see. And really, somebody's going to take this big bulky box that it, it wasn't even marked as being like, it just looked, I think it might have even said printer on it, but it didn't say 3D printer. It might have mm -hmm. said printer. Just Who's going to steal a freaking printer, a heavy ass printer? But they're going to leave behind the nice little Amazon package, which, you know, could be electronics, could be anything. Could be Easier to steal, yeah. slip yeah. under your jacket, as opposed to this bulky printer that you could, uh, one person is barely going to be able to carry. Mm -hmm. And it's going to look very conspicuous doing it. Yeah. And I just, I went through this with, well, I went through this with the company. I really don't blame the shipping company as much as I blame the company. Because they didn't pay the extra money to get a signature. I was like, huh. really? You sent, you wanted to save a buck? on the shipping of this thing after mm -hmm. I spent all this money and waste all this time you're going to do it. So I, I didn't, I, I disputed, I basically said, I can prove I paid for it. Can you prove I got it? Mm -hmm. Because the shipping company just says we left it there. So it's like, either case, not my fault. The only person, I, you two fight it out. The only person not at fault here is me. Yeah. So, so you're going to refund my money. Yeah, we're going to deliver a printer. Because you did a whole, they did a whole bunch of other bad things, uh, which was they, they charged my credit card long before they were supposed to, like Ooh. like many many months before. I didn't realize it. Oh, I like the town's very small. I guess you have to go underground. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so then I I was so I just went and bought another printer off Amazon. Got them like two days later. Mm -hmm. Much better company to deal with the one I picked. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Typically, yeah. And, well, I mean, I'd, I'd wait forever well. for this printer because it was like it was basically a pre-order mm -hmm. of their next gen model. And actually, I've been hearing. I was reading up on the reports of people who did get it. Mm -hmm. That's a piece of junk. It just oh. did, it was, well, it's not the one I got. So I just got, yeah, okay. so I just got their, uh, their competitor mm -hmm. who does a much better job and they actually have a customer service. And that was the other thing is people were ordering these things like, and it shipped, it was like six months late already. And then it shipped with incomplete software. It's <laughs> like, you've had an extra six months to iron out the software to make it sure that, it, well, I don't know, works. Mm -hmm. You had all this extra time you could have gotten it. So yeah, it, it was, Sad. That's the end. Can I rest? Wait, do I have to actually pay money? I, why do I have a rest option? Can you rest out? Wait, can I rest out in the open? As well, for free? Um, Which would make no sense. Yeah, because the wolves will just attack you right away. I mean, so I can't rest in here, but I guess I can rest out in the forest and I'm okay. I guess so. Maybe risk being attacked then. But yeah, so I'm, ha I'm happy with my brand. We've New got, printer we've got a 3D printer at work. Of course you do. Got <laughs> it's for prototyping some of the. Uh, yeah, you keep keep telling yourself that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody works makes action figures really. <laughs> what I'm um, thinking for somebody, Warcraft. I, I think somebody made a VLC cone. You know the the the, the logo for VLC video okay. player. Oh. Okay. So, somebody made a somebody oh. made that cone. Oh, be, is it a dual head printer? Yes. You don't need that for prototype. Yeah, because it's like the, only, no, the, do, reason, the reason. You, you, all, need the, to, you need to put the scaffolding in to hold up, you know, the yeah. shell of the thing that you're doing. Yes, but you can do that with the same printer material, unless you. I, I mean, I know this. Mine's a dual as, as uh -huh. well. When you said the VLC cone, I immediately knew you bought a dual. 
head printer because the only reason people print that out is because it makes it an easy dual print, a dual color print. Mm -hmm. You don't need, for scaffolding, the scaffolding can be made of the same material as the regular, what you're regularly printing, unless you're making dissolve, unless you're using dissolvable material, which is its own fun hell, uh, which I found out. <laughs> no, I, I don't think we're doing Because you, that. it's a special material and then you have to dunk it in uh, basically uh, chemically pure orange oil. And it will dissolve the the material, but they, uh -huh. but but it, a it takes forever to dissolve. B it's this gloppy mess when you're done with it. Because uh -huh. I had this grand idea. Because yes, you need supports for certain prints mm. because the type of printer is it does it layer by layer, and mm -hmm. it's not like the powder kind where it's like it's you do it in a bed of powder and then you right. evacuate the powder, powder, so everything else supports it. Right. No, this is the kind you got to make sure that either everything mm -hmm. is less than a forty five degree angle or uh, you have to print supports. Mm. Print sports isn't so bad, but yes, you can do that with all of one material because I've I've done that. That in a way, a lot of ways, that's easier mm. because dual dual head prints. I have found if you're actually doing dual color prints, because I've done a few of these now, you get these little. It's really hard for the printer not to keep printing or the oozing on the other thing. Mm. So you get you get a zillion of these little tails oh. that you have to remove uh, of the, the wrong box. color. Yeah, and there's a fine art to it. Yeah. Mm. Making there, money no, that's itself. one of the things I'm learning watching it, the the hard the hardware engineers uh, fiddle with this is that there's a fine art, still a lot of black art to yeah. uh, 3D printing. Yeah, and a lot of it is in the software, is in you know just the support software. Mm -hmm. The software that came with mine was pretty good, but you can buy third party software where they just have a whole bunch of options. Hello, that's pretty, can I bash these crates? Hey, you're about to destroy my inventory, you bash. <laughs> It's like in Zelda, that, like, in, like, like, like in Zelda, where they have like the pots, you know, yeah, where <laughs> like you're just going through people's houses, and just destroying their pots. So it, or I or think just, just like, they did a cartoon of that once, where it was like, oh, 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 this is reading by hardware. Okay, wait, didn't I just wait? Did I? No, you were at the weapons shop. Oh, okay. Previously. Do you have anything worth more? Small shield. Yeah. I don't have any money anyway to buy that. But yeah, but yeah, so I'm, I'm getting into the black art of printing because. Mm -hmm. Printers have their own programming language, and that's cool. they have their own code. They have like their own printing code. It's like HPTL. PDF. No, uh, it's like PD. Well, no, it's like PDF. I can't remember what. I can't. I, this uh, is bad. I can't remember. Off this red top three here. PDF. No, it's um no, it, but it is it is something like that where it's like it's its own language and mm -hmm. different printers support different subsets of language, mm -hmm. and getting the so the software can usually get you like nine percent of the way, but once you get into like special things like the dual head printing, mm -hmm. where it's like. There's little things you can do to kind of minimize the issues with the the dripping. You can print like outer shell walls. They're kind of like drip walls, where the idea is they'll do it. Mm -hmm. They'll the the drips will go onto the outer wall mm -hmm. as it's passing over it. It'll deposit it on there, and then it'll do the regular print, which is, works great. But most of the print software can't handle. It will only do that with one extruder. It won't do it with two. You can't print like two outer walls. They don't know how to do that. So you have to go in and kind of hack the code yourself a little bit mm -hmm. to do it. So yeah, it's all fun. It's one, of those, it's one of those hobbies that can suck up your entire uh, yeah. life while you're not making uh, podcast videos. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So don't worry, I wasn't bored. Right? <laughs> I have plenty of time to play with my 3D printer. Maybe I'll help put some YouTube videos. I'll... Oh, I wonder if I can find a 3DO model that I could print. The 3DO logo. I've got two of the required color probably for printing i could probably do so it was, um, the three red. i just need a 3d model that's all i need well i mean it's a cube a sphere and then the tv shaped thing. but the trick is how to and I, actually i've been looking around a project to try my uh my laptop comes with windows 8 windows 8 comes with free 3d scanning software so as long as you can hook your connect up to it uh -huh. which microsoft now has just given up on the whole like Connect only works on Xbox. They will actually just sell you a cable to hook your Connect right up to a, huh. a PC um, for the new the new Xbox scanner. And then a lot of the old a lot of the old 3D software will take the original Connect, the old old one the, uh -huh. that one because that one's much easier to, to hack because right. it's just a straight USB cable. Mm -hmm. um, they will do that. So I've been mean to if I had those, I wish I kept those juggling balls now that I gave to Ash. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 3D of juggling bags? If I had, yeah, I guess. Uh, I think I have a set of those. Yeah. But, well, it's not the bag. I was just like, if I had that logo, if I had a 3D model of that, I could scan it. In. I'm trying to find something to scan that I can then print uh, out. Could you use an old Lightwave model? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's probably easy. I'm sure th <laughs> there's a lot of free converters out there, if not, I. Because, <laughs> you remember that, remember that, uh, 
<coughs> I wrote the light wave converters that you used on them yeah. too. So. so, if you remember that I did a, a 3D version of the 3D logo a long time ago. Oh, you did? This basically was sort of off center with a spotlight hmm. coming down. And, oh, okay. Um, so did that. I'm Marketing sh- said, oh, very pretty, we're never going to use it. Yeah, good for them. <laughs> And then they snuck it into um, 3DO Game Guru. Huh, nice. Mark Rurik <laughs> snuck that in. No, if it, although I wonder, I wonder how it'll print. It depends how, it depends how low res it is. Because it, it's the printer's really good. Because hmm. I've used low res models, and you can see the individual polygons uh, on the low res model. Uh, I think I, I think. But I, I could probably run it through. I, I, I could run through Maya or Blender uh, or something. Yeah, I have access to Maya. I have access, and there's lots. Of, that's beauty. There's all these 3D. Free three D software nowadays. It's like Blender is free. And yeah. Is a, yeah, it's amazing what people will throw away for free. Yeah, uh, Inkscape, it's pretty Netflix. good. Yeah. Outline. Uh, oh, for vector based. Structure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have that much need for that. Uh, yeah, three D scanning. I, I want to try. I want to three D scan something though. Maybe I'll do my fifty two hundred controller. Uh, Whole coupler since you can't buy those couplers Ooh. and it's like it's perfect it's basically just a bunch of solid pieces of plastic and I tried modeling it mm-hmm. with my limited skills but A I tried it on my laptop which is oh. not ideal for mo- for not 3D pen, modeling yeah. Uh, yeah exactly even with an external mouse it's gonna mm. my laptop's a little bit slow to run a 3D modeler and it's like I made all the pre- these precise measurements and I'm trying to get the, the, th- the free extrusion software that I had mm-hmm. to you know make these gentle little like angled arches that were, it's like I, I just needed to start here end here extrude to here I was like I almost could write code mm-hmm. that would define this much faster than me trying to push a mouse around to do this work. that's that's how I that's how I did the unicycle hmm. 25 years ago ah uh, yes oh we should put a video to that no no oh I'm sure no, Pixar has no. totally forgotten about <laughs> yeah, the cease and desist and, and, be, and best leave it that way oh come on yeah. it's probably up on archive.org anyway I'm sure there's a version <laughs> of it up there well well uh, I think that's an hour <laughs> is it? more than up. yeah okay so, I mean, time flies see. when you're playing Japanese RPG indeed well, thank you all very kindly for visiting know. us once again. We'll uh, try and get back on some sort of uh, regular schedule. Again, it's all my fault. Blame me. Um, well, next couple weeks will be my fault because I've, yeah, yeah. I've got weekends planned out <laughs> for work and such. So, yeah. And uh, Travel. <laughs> but it's uh, very kind of you, uh, for, of you to, to stick with us all this time. And uh, we look forward uh, to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.